Hello guys, in this video I want to answer one question that I saw on Twitter. Is it possible to exclude some table on Migrate Fresh? So imagine the situation. You have a database with some data, for example you have transactions and you have currencies. And you want to refresh the full database, so delete all the testing data and start fresh except for some tables. It may be one table, it may be a few tables. So for example, you have currencies and you've entered the currencies and you want them to stay in the database and then everything else should be freshed. What to do? If you run PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh, there is no option to exclude table or something like that. But the trick here is to use seeds with Migrate Fresh and you can generate the seed from existing data and save it into your seeds so it would be refreshed and reseeded with the same data. And by the way, this admin panel was generated with quickadminpanel.com with our own tool and I will demonstrate how easy it is at the end of this video. But anyway, let's save the currencies but delete the transactions. What do you do? There's a package for that. So this is the package, Orange Hill iSeed, really old one, six years ago as you can see, but still works on Laravel 9 and updated. So what we do is compose a require Orange Hill iSeed in our terminal, compose a require, and then we run only one command after that, PHP Artisan iSeed table name. So installation is successful and we're on PHP Artisan iSeed currencies in our case, the table name. The result is generated seeder class. So it says created a seed file. If we go to PHP Storm, we have a new seeder class, database seeders currencies table seeder, which is just dump of existing data. And as you can see, it doesn't use eloquent model, it used DB facade. So it would not rely on any eloquent auto timestamps or auto IDs or something like that it loaded the data exactly as it was in the database, including IDs, including timestamps. So USD, Euro and British Pound is the array saved here. And also it auto added into database seeder that seeder to be called automatically when you run PHP Artisan DB seed or PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh seed, which I will do just now. This seed is added on top of any seeds that you had previously. So for example, these seeds are generated and needed with our quick admin panel to generate the admin user and roles and permissions. But now if we run PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh, which is deleting all the data and running migrations from fresh. But if we add seed here, as you can see in the seeders, you have permissions, roles and all the others and the new one, currency stable seeder. And if we refresh our page now, if we refresh transactions, there is no transaction at all. But if we refresh currencies, the currencies are reseeded again. So this is kind of a trick how you can do migrate fresh, excluding some table, which is actually reseeding the data from that table. And finally, as I promised, I will demonstrate how to generate this with Quick Admin Panel. So you register at Quick Admin Panel, you choose a new project. There are three versions of the generator, but I will choose the classic one with jQuery. It doesn't matter in this case. So transactions demo, for example, the name, there are a few settings which you can choose like Laravel version and stuff like that. By default, it adds those CRUDs with rows and permissions as I've shown you in the seeders and is generating file in the background. Meanwhile, you can create CRUD menu items, which is in our case currencies, for example. So you create the CRUD, which will generate the database migrations, the menu item and stuff like that. You just add the fields. Those are default fields and you add what you need for currency. In our case, it's just the name, which should be required and you save that CRUD. And then the other CRUD would be transactions. So we create another menu item. Meanwhile, the file is generated in the background. So we do transactions and we need the relationship here. Quick admin panel may suggest the fields from your previous admin panels, but we don't need that at this point. We just need to choose belongs to relationship to currency and choose the model of currencies, a few more settings, which are default for now. And then you choose, for example, type money, column name amount and save and we save another CRUD. And that's it. Then you can download the code. You can view the code, download the code. If you purchase the quick admin panel, it's not a free tool, but it should pay off massively with even your first project. So you can view the code, for example, including those database 
seaters like in this case and you can preview the panel online before downloading so if you are interested in quickly generating the skeleton for your project including database migrations and admin panel check out our quickadminpanel.com that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos